Good evening, everybody. How are we all doing? This is honestly, I love Tuesdays so much right now. What a great time of the week. Just hanging out, well, going to work, but then after work, coming home and just vibing it out. Vibing out with the church, making great decisions all the time. Holly, I am okay. I am a okay. I am living my best life. Update on the trust. That is a fair point. We will um we will get there shortly. I do I really do want to talk about the traitors though. I will um I will keep it spoiler free. Um but I do want to talk about the traitors because I've been thinking a lot about the traitors, honestly. And what I've been thinking is Here's, here's how I win on the traitors. Okay, here's how. I see your message asking for the most overrated British person. I'm going to be thinking about that while I say this. I think I know how to win. Or I think I know how I would go about maximizing my chances to win. But first I'm going to ponder this question about the most overrated British person. And I think I'm going to go for somebody who is British and overrated there's a lot of there's a lot of contenders there aren't there like the obvious one the obvious yeah there's obvious targets like Ricky Gervais and James Corden you know where it's just a bit harsh the Queen's dead though like that's you know maybe a few years ago might have been valid but there's no point picking a dead person um I think most overrated probably me honestly <laughs> honestly <laughs> If we're gonna, if we're gonna really get down to it, probably me. Pierce Morgan, you know what? Pierce Morgan. Wait, Holly's jumping in here with. Is that Henry the Eighth or Henry the Seventh? I need to get glasses. Henry the Eighth is a fair shout. Henry the Eighth. I was actually listening to an audiobook about Henry the Eighth today. What a prick! <laughs> what an absolute piece of work. Setting up his own church, founding himself as like the pseudo pope, getting rid of the monasteries. Where people are praying for the salvation of humankind and he goes and shuts them all down. Absolutely wrong. I never really liked James Corden Heldrip, no. I, I was never I was never particularly sold on him. I never watched Gavin and Stacey, for example. And I did study the history boys at school. If the gods are watching me. But my studies did not revolve around James Corden in general. You can get a necklace that cures bloodless, by the way. Interesting. In here or just in general? Anyway, let's talk Baldur's Gate because we'll talk about the traitors later when we're like running somewhere. For now, the hag is gone because she actually no, she's not gone. She's still about, but we ate her hair, and now Puddlebuster has twenty charisma in the grove under a rock. All right, well maybe we'll be going back to the grove today then. Puddlebuster has twenty charisma, which is kind of huge. That's a lot. That should mean that Puddle Buster is going to be popping off today. Will Pride of the gate. had an absolute shocker last week. Will was awful. Will is very much on watch. We are keeping an eye on Will. He needs to sort it out. Lazelle, all faithful, all reliable. She's got the spear that blinds people. She's absolutely crushing it. No notes. What a day. And Astarian. Astarian is also here. Now, I am... Very, very set on the fact that we need to go to the goblin camp. We need to talk to some goblins. It's going to be entertaining. We love goblins. We love what they're about. We love the little green guys, don't we, folks? We love to see what they're up to. Uh, we love to talk to them, touch them, um, ask them questions about their lives. Little cockney goblins. Rescue Volo. Yeah, we might rescue Volo while we're there. We might not rescue Volo. That's very much, I think, for the chat to decide. Yeah, you touch the goblins, you give them a little pat on the head. Tell them they're doing a good job. Give them a little treat. Curse to put my hands on everything. Obviously. I um I was contacted by uh, now suspend your disbelief. I was contacted by a friend of mine. Um I think it was actually during last week's stream where he In fact, let me read his message. Let me read you his message. I will not name him, but I will read you his message. He said 
Okay, I'm not going to keep spamming your chat, but it is honestly giving me anxiety that you aren't using alchemy to make elixirs. And I'm going to respond to that with exactly how I responded to him, which is imagine using alchemy. We're not doing that, obviously. What a waste of time. <laughs> Life is too short to be collecting random plants for marginal gains. Marginal gains at best. I'm not wasting my life grinding things up into a paste. But this isn't honor mode. We're playing on balanced. We just pick up the potions. We don't read the letter to Ethel. We pick up the potion of speed. Maybe I need more and you know what? Puddle Buster keeps it because Puddle Buster's in charge. We examine this, whatever this is. Something that lets you cast protection from evil and good. Most importantly, is this a hat? Is this a hat? Or is this a necklace? Horizon Lum Labs, welcome to the chat. You have 20 playthroughs and only did alchemy once. Just 100% achievements. Now that is the kind of attitude that will be very welcome here. I want to give this to Will. Pick up. I'm, I'm sending this to Will. I just feel like he needs it. Played at the ready. Oh, it's a ring. Okay, fine. He can have an eye ring on his hand. No worries. I guess that... Make, oh, it's a necklace. Okay, reasonable. Yeah, Will needs that. He needs a bit of protection from evil and good, I feel. And he needs he needs mostly like protection from embarrassing himself, but I don't know if that... I don't know if Ethel has anything that provides that. What is, by the way... Oh my goodness, look at all of this. Will, you can have this because you need it. Action thing can go to Lazelle. Dark vision. Will, why not? Glorious vaulting, obviously Puddle Buster needs that. And mind reading, obviously, Puddle Buster. What's the deal with these, by the way? Because, like, what happens if I drink one of these? Is it a good idea? Is that, you know, smart? Don't drink. Go back to the desk. There's a wand called Bitter Divorce. Oh, I thought that was a letter. What does it do? Examine. It doesn't seem to do Don't anything. They do various dodgy things. Okay, fair enough. Permanent debuffs, right. Maybe we don't want that. We do want Bitter Divorce, though. So what's the deal with Bitter Divorce? Cast Spell. Cast Spell. What spell? What does... What spell does this let me cast? Go outside with it. All right. Oh, oh, I remember. I remember what this does. <laughs> I remember what this does. Yeah, we'll take it outside. We'll take all these rings. Sauron wants to know your location. Staff of Crones. That sounds good. What does that do? Ray of Sickness and Topple. I feel like that's better than this random staff. Puddle Buster. Get yourself a new bit of loot. Excellent. <laughs> It's a strong look. It's a slightly... You guys ever heard of juxtaposition? <laughs> I feel like we've got, we've got one vibe going on here, and then we have a drastically different vibe going on here. Uh, as far as Marina goes, yeah, Marina is... Um, who knows where Marina is? Does this take me outside, or does this take me to the Underdark? Let's find out. Killed a few giant bats in my day, Astari. But never hunted a vampire. <laughs> Non-stop juxtaposition, very true. Um, am I in a conversation? No, I've just remembered I need to check the settings. I don't know if I've actually played Baldur's Gate since last stream. Right, okay, that's fine. Genitals are off. Relax, everybody. Genitals are switched off. In case anybody was worried. Because I've not been recording. I have been script writing. In, in, in theory. Slowly but surely, there's been I've I've had a stuff on, you know. It's been busy. I've been working on working on my life. No pee pee. Oh, I was in no genitals, right? Fair enough. Connor Vinderblad. No loot. No loot at all. Embarrassing. Now I know this is this is Marina's husband, right? Do I turn them back on when playing privately? Obviously, Holly. 
obviously. I have somewhere on my hard drive footage of Twilight Eclipse without any clothes on. It exists on my hard drive. If they came and they checked my hard drive, I have the footage. <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's, um... I will not release it to the public, but it, it does exist. It 100% exists. And <laughs> all this can be yours <laughs> if you sign up for Twilight Eclipse's OnlyFans account launching <laughs> Q3 2024. Get the full, full frontal, 100% unedited, um... Full throttle, director's cut. Um, <laughs> director's cut as as the creator is intended. The thing about the hair related jokes in Twilight Equip e Equips Eclipse is that there's, there's a few, but I feel like I feel like the, the comments will do it for me. You know, <laughs> if I can rely on anything. There'll be people chatting about his hair. I could probably not mention it once and the comments would still be like full of people talking about it. You want to ask a risque question? Heldrip, is, does your question involve how intact Twilight Eclipse's genitals are? Is that the question? Because that's the only question you could possibly have to ask. Oh, apparently it's a crime to open this door. Um, why don't we... Honestly, why are we faffing around in the swamp? There's nothing else here. <laughs> There's obviously nothing else here. We're going to the goblin camp. Let's make haste. I'm feeling a bit parched and I think good question about the long strider and mage armor, by the way. Um I think I have. I'm afraid you'll have to content yourself with vagrant I have no idea what Will's talking about. I've not been paying attention. Yeah, we do have mage armor, we do have long strider. We also can have a short rest. Because we killed the hag with such ease. Forward. So I reckon we hit up the spiders on the way back from the goblin camp, is my personal take on this situation. Have we spoken to... Oh, we've not spoken to these guys. We were we were running around all over here, and at no point did we go and chat to these guys. That's a quick save. That's a quick save if ever I have seen one. We've got to talk to these fellas. I reckon we can take them, slash convince them to join us, slash... Um, get pummeled into the dirt. Right, obviously we're not prepping any tactical positions. That's not how we do it here. Leave gang the ogres. It's Gobbo's time. Interesting. Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Tastes like fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show us the brand of the absolute. I don't mean to be rude, but the way that this ogre talks, like, strongly reminds me of, like, <laughs> like, someone, someone at the local game store who is desperately, desperately trying to appear like the smartest person in the room. Desperately. Even though the greatest credit to their name is a C in maths at A-level. Loving this option, by the way. Loving this choice. Yeah, Astarian is being quite distracting. This one's for the lady. This Astarian brings in the ladies and, frankly, a lot of the men. And Puddlebuster draws in everybody else. Etc. Um, do we? I think we probably want the Tides of Chaos for this. I was right, we do want the Tides of Chaos. Is that true, Tattletail? The nerds at the Magic Store telling you they don't like Baldur's Gate 3 because they hate 5th edition? Because that is very much the energy I was thinking of. <laughs> like, absolutely nail on the head. I don't like 5th edition, it's too accessible and fun. Indeed. 
How regrettable that your meat must go unsavored. Food? Food? Not food. Friend. Welcome, Kigali Kani, by the way. Hello, welcome to the chat. Yeah, Magic Store nerds are... Well, this is the thing. As a Magic Store nerd myself, as an authority on the subject matter, I can say it's a mixed bag. It is a very mixed bag. And I would actually say, locally, my experience has been that the majority of Magic players are very nice. But, that being said, there is a reason why there is a reputation around the community. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I feel like the tides are pro hopefully changing for the people bullying people for liking the things that... People responding to being bullied by bullying others or gatekeeping others, yeah. Listen, I love a bit of magic. Unfortunately, I suspect that the day we play magic on Twitch is the day everyone realizes I'm a hack with no, no talent. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand. And you, Wait, he's French. were I so lucky? What's the play? I, I, I will be honest, I've not even been reading the choices you've been picking. I've just been looking at the numbers. I'm just letting Puddle Buster go on autopilot right now. If I hear the roll initiative sound, I'll know what to do. But otherwise, I trust you all to guide me through this. See, the thing about Divinity, I've played a bit of Divinity, and it is nowhere near as accessible as Baldur's Gate 3. I'm sure it's good. I believe in my heart that it's good, because people who know about these things have told me so. But I, I have struggled to get into Divinity 2. I'm not saying that it will never happen. I'm just saying I think Baldur's Gate 3 makes it hard to get into Divinity. I've no use for the Absolute, or any god. I follow two masters only, gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold. And the rest sate my hunger for meat. Uh, regarding Elden Those Ring... goblins give gold. We check brand. Good deal. No talk. Nice. Uh, regarding Elden Ring, I'm currently playing Elden Ring for um, pleasure, for, for kicks. I'm going very slowly. I am not doing great. At, I'm not doing very well, but it's, um, yeah, I, I am playing it. I don't know if I'm good enough at Elden Ring to really, because what, what's the content? I feel like there's a lot of videos of people being mediocre at Elden Ring. I don't know if I can add much to it. I don't know what I would bring to the table, really. I, I mean, I do like the puzzles. I also, another thing I like, Stariana, is I like that there are puzzles in Baldur's Gate that I have just not been able to do. And I have walked away. I've been like, I don't get it. This puzzle's not for me. I like it. It's good. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Make me an offer. Tempt me. My build in Elden Ring is Dex Faith. I am a Dex Faith build with the Wolverine Claws. There are like some Wolverine Claws. I use them, and when that doesn't work, I use Lightning. That's my approach. That's just how it is. Yeah, the Wolverine Claws are sick. I hope, I hope enemies always suffer from blood loss, but I suspect they won't. Yeah, I think I, I get that it is sometimes about watching the person play, but like, I think especially without a webcam, uh, games like Elden Ring, I don't know how entertaining it can be. I did play Bloodborne on stream a while ago. Sadly, those of odds are lost to time, but that was a lot of fun. That was when we didn't have as many viewers then, but they were very fun streams. I notably, my big claim to fame is I killed Lady Maria first try, and I'd never fought her before. First try, that was the highlight. I first one shot Maria. Because I use the um, the tentacle thing that what's his name has, 
You know the guy whose arm turns into a tentacle? I use that, and it turns out it's really easy to parry her if you use that, because she just runs into it. Um, I'll pay him in the flesh of the fallen. Yeah, this will work. I'm pretty sure this will work. Let's have some bardic inspiration as well. Easy. There was never any doubt. We could do Dark Souls at one point. I got as far as Ornstein and Smau. Then I got mad. Ocean and a boon to my aching belly. We have a deal, my tasty kibble. Take my bone horn. One blow and the ground will quake with my family name. The best thing about this horn when the need arises, is we don't know when we're going to use it. Moment before. Ogre kill everyone around, then Ogre eats them. Well spoken, indeed. Ogre kill everyone around. Um, when are we going to use this horn? Is a question that we should probably answer at some point. Yeah, I don't. I assume you can't use it at a certain point. I I would assume. Do we have to be in this area? Can we use it in we the Underdark, for instance? When you are ready, sound the horn. I assume the horn is a one-time use, but I, I think, with a whole Twitch chat here, I think we'll remember to use it. I've never once used the horn. It has to be above ground. That's curious. All right, fair. Has this dead tiefling got anything good? Oh, yes. Love to see that. Don't really need a great club. Um... The merchant... Oh, I remember. I was going to say, we need to go to a merchant, but the merchant in the grove is dead. Due to, you know, forces outside of our control, mostly. Yeah, Mage Armor has been cast. Today, Mage Armor was actually cast last time. <laughs> it's not from today. Use it against the Githyanki. That is a good shout. That is a very reasonable shout. That'll teach them a lesson. And we won't need it against the goblins because we're just going to have a nice time. Here. Get a little bit of honey. We could sell to the Zentarim. What, sell the horn? That'd be interesting. Yeah, the headband of intellect is very good. It is very good. I appreciate people thanking me for casting mage armor. It is good, but like... Are we trying to be good? Or are we trying to get jiggy with it? And just do, just do, just do what needs to be done. Squishy0158, have we met Best Girl yet? First of all, welcome to the chat. Second of all, you're going to need to be more specific. <laughs> that <laughs> that doesn't narrow it down. If you're talking about Shadowheart, yes. If you're talking about Minthara, no. If you're talking about Karlak, she died, but it's alright because she's alive now. If you're talking about Lazel, she's right there. If you're talking about Puddlebuster, she's right there. If you're talking about Ethel, yes. If you're talking about... Um, Althera, yes, she's dead. If you're talking about... Look at me naming all these women. Honestly. I am the people's champion. I am an ally to all women. Except for Karlak, who, sadly, I don't think I can claim to be an ally of. Right, let's go chat to these goblins. We'll see how this turns out. I, I want to remind you all... I want to remind everybody, there is a merchant in the goblin camp, and like we've got a lot of stuff to sell. I'm just going to say it, I can't force your hand. We're not sneaking up on these goblins because we're not little creeps. We're going to go have a word. I can name real women as well. I'm not going to do it now, but I can. Right, this conversation's loading. It's going to be great when it loads. Watch. Look it, Claw. Supper's here. It's Claw having to think about his response here. <laughs> Only funning. Got word from Moonrise. <laughs> Was someone As meant the to talk there? Glows, power courses through you. Authority. Did that guy's like little joke? Where's my vote option? Oh, there we go. Did that guy's little joke just not work? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it's when we get to populated areas like the Goblin Camp that you will appreciate how much my computer lags on Baldur's Gate 3. And like, I know I could turn down the graphics, but I'm a visual, I'm a visual guy. And, you know, like I said, on my hard drive there is footage of Twilight Eclipse's genitals, and I don't want that to be in, you know, low def. There's going to be a lot of T posing for sure. Um, I don't think we need to use a scroll of charm person. Yeah, there was never any doubt. <laughs> Frank, welcome to the chat. You thought YouTube community posts were a scam? No, they're not a scam. We're here. It's real. Right. Draw Ragslin's inside in through the temple. Better have good news. The genitals were not T-posing, no. It's a fair question. And an important one. Right, I do want to... I'm going to railroad a little bit here because I'm really curious. Because we sort of told Shadowheart to do one. And <laughs> to, like, leave us alone. Um, I think she's going to pop up here, so we should get an option to talk to her. Frank, I'm glad you enjoy the videos. Um, that's nice to hear. Thank you for your kind words. Twilight Eclipse Part 3 is being worked on there is there is some script to it it's getting there slowly but surely i will um when it's closer to ready i'll probably like i might on one stream do like a preview or something i don't know a little crossover got to do something for the patrons obviously the uh the patrons get first dibs on everything but um you know i might do a little something for the twitch people Let's um, take a step forward and see what happens. I'm sure nothing untoward will occur. Recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape, nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you, an armored male elf exuding power and command, a handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Yeah, how can we tell they're handsome from their silhouette? Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them in my here she is. Here she comes. I was watching uh, her stream the other day for a little bit. Jen and Aliona. You feel energy pulsing from the artifact, lifting the pain from you, pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. Right, we did I it. I imagine you must have questions. We should talk. You're lucky I managed to catch up with you when I did. We're both lucky, in fact. Okay. I was silent for a bit there, because I don't like to, you know, some people might not have seen that cutscene before, who knows. Um, there is always an urge to quip, which I try and force down. Much like in my daily life. I try and resist the... No, don't try and resist the urge to quip. That is a total lie. That is a deception. What am I talking about? Any chance I get. Any chance at all. Doesn't matter how good the quiff is. It's usually not good. You, what you see on YouTube is like... I record the audio and then I'm like... 50% of these jokes are the worst... The worst thing I've ever heard in my life. And they get removed. But on the Twitch stream... You just get it all uncut. 
stream of consciousness type stuff. That voice you just felt? It's because of what was done to us. The infection. I don't know how, but this artifact is protecting me from whoever controls our parasites. You won't get much farther without it shielding you. Trust me. You need me at your side. I'm going to politely remind everyone that currently the people with us, that's the whole team. <laughs> that's all we've got. It's everything we have. So while it's always valid to go on the attack and I won't stop you, I'm just going to remind you of the numbers. Yeah, if we see a special visitor, some people in here know exactly what's coming. Clunk attempt number two, possibly. Possibly. The artifact is being hunted, and so I'm being hunted. The absolute forces want it, Githyanki raiders want it. So it is you the Kithraki come for. Lazel. This artifact is valuable. <laughs> the knights will be relentless in their pursuit. What is this camera angle? <laughs> I can't afford to get rid of it, but I can't protect it alone either. I'm lucky to have made it this far. I don't think any director has ever used the mohawk shot before where 30% of the screen is covered by a multicolored mohawk or like like that sort of um that white grass that's in like Japanese films like in Sekiro where you fight Genichiro and it's got like all that white grass like that but mohawk hair very inspiring I forgot to press the button didn't I sorry my bad This goblin camp is basically our last chance to pick up any companions, right? Or, like, what happens here will determine the team. Oh, yeah, we well, can get a Sekiro reference. You can get Sekiro references all over. In that one, yeah, yeah, exactly. It'll be a while. So if we're going to load up, we need to load up now. Because if we have options, the chat can pick the team, is the other thing. It's, we've not explored it yet. But chat can choose the squad. Whereas right now, we just have the squad. I know we can use the mercs, but like they don't have any lines. <laughs> they're like, I get it, they're there, but do we want to use them? Very. So what do you say? I didn't kill the druids, man, my kid. That wasn't me. That was the tieflings. It was entirely the tieflings' fault, not mine. I will not take any credit or responsibility for what happened at the Grove. And if Halston tries to pin it on me, that's his problem. He needs to change his outlook. I'm seeing... I'm seeing people being positive. We want Shadowheart on the team. You seem overburdened with hangers-on already. <laughs> I won't say anything. <laughs> Imagine though. <laughs> what happens if we pick number two? I have no idea. Is it just like, nah, you're out. <laughs> if you can't figure this out on your own, get out. Not interested. Yeah, I think a, a chat that loves Shadowheart I don't think is particularly unique in the Baldur's Gate community, is it? But yeah, I was watching uh, the stream of Shadowheart's voice actor and... Her girlfriend, who is the performance director for Baldur's Gate, I think, um, and their stream was—it was quite a nice, it was quite a nice vibe. They were still sort of learning how the game worked, which was like that—that that was very much the vibe. So if that's what you're looking for, that's what they do. Uh, whereas I, I know everything about how the game works. I, I'm I'm smiling. I'm smiling um, facetiously right now for those who needs a webcam. I'll just describe it. Fine. Just stay safe. We need each other. Right. Now, obviously, we have a new companion. You all know what time it is. It's time to respec Shadowheart.
because you can't just be what you are in this team. It's time for a series of polls culminating in... Culminating in something. We're not quite sure what, but culminating in something. There's the blood pool. Um, temporarily, while we do this, I'm just going to tell Will to chill. Now, that doesn't mean that he's not coming back. Hmm. Mysterious, that shadow heart. And mysteriously endearing. Behind those eyes lurk uncountable secrets. Mad Mad Kid with the strats. That's an interesting strat. Will, I'd love to talk to you, but right now you need to Are wait you here. Sure? The blade stands at the ready. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Just stay here for a second. And just when things were warming up. What does he mean? Just when he started missing? Just when... <laughs> Um, I will try this Shadow Heart strat of using Lesser Restoration. That is a fair shout. We already have a Barbarian, but, I mean, it's a vote. It's down to you. So, I guess... I guess there's, um... Something the matter. Nothing I can do to stop. Wait. <sighs> it hurts. Literally didn't come here to talk to you about your backstory. We're locked in. We're locked into a backstory chat. Apologies. Shadowheart's law dumping right now. I'm going to need you to be a bit more decisive than this. <laughs> we have a chat divided. Worse. But it passes quickly. Usually. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. That's alright, I wasn't concerned. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles at least. In case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Is at this point that you start regretting welcoming this person to your team. If you can't like literally come over to them and say, hey, come with me for a second. Without them being like, my wound. You see, this hit the backstory of my wound is this. It doesn't hurt all the time, but let me explain. Don't worry about it. I'm not turning into a mind flayer. But anyway, it's very important that you understand that my wound hurts. Turn to other matters. I'm, here's what I'm going to say. I'll give you an option to speak to the companions later. Okay? Right. I'll give you an option Some later. Some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. When we next long rest, I'll give you an opportunity to talk to everybody. Uh, right. Shadowheart. You need to respec, and to do that, we need you to go to Withers, but before you do that... I'm ready. Where's this lesser restoration I've heard so much about? Do we not have it yet? Here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. Here's what I think. Level her up to three. So you want me to level her up to three, and then respec her? This sounds... This sounds incredibly complicated. Like, won't Bloodless just go away? Won't this go away when we long rest? How long does Bloodless last? Yeah, apologies. Apologies about Karlak again, Helldrip. I think, I think, look, I respect, I respect that it's useful. Yeah, we'll probably long rest before the goblins. Why not? <laughs> just for kicks. All right, here's my, here's my promise. We will... We will oh, no, respect Shadowheart, and then we will do a long rest just for kicks. Just to see if anything exciting happens, and we can respec everybody. Not respec, we can chat to everybody. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll do a long rest after this. Withers. Liz Vezel is at thy disposal. Skip. Shall be here Skip. Like Skip. As thou dis right. Listen, you're all talking about Lesser Restoration. I don't think I've ever used that spell once in my life. <laughs> um, right, we need to have... For those who are new, this works like this. There will be... Three initial polls. We'll vote among these, among these, and then among these. And then we will have a final vote on what class Shadowheart is going to be. I will... Not leave Cleric as an option. I will not leave Cleric as an option because, come on, boring. Also, I don't think anyone would vote for it. So here comes the first poll. First poll coming up right now. Poll slash poll. 
Let me make my poll. So we've got Barbarian. We've got Bard. If you're in the chat, start making your cases, by the way. Voting will begin shortly. We've got Druid. And we've got Class? Question mark. I'll give you two minutes for this. I'll give you two minutes so that you have time to be swayed. To sway and be swayed. So this is the first heat. The top result will proceed to the final. <laughs> Ranger Heart is interesting. No one yet has advocated for Ranger in any of these. I've not actually played with a Ranger in this game either. Looks like Druid is coming in pretty hot on this one. People are very, very invested in the idea of Druid Shadowheart. Monk Path of Shadows would be iconic. We'd have two monks in the party then. Lazel and Shadowheart just monking it out all over the place. Started a new run with a ranger. Well, let us know how it goes. Flameboy314. Just because we have a monk already doesn't mean we can't have another one. You've got to open your eyes to the world of possibilities in front of you. It is possible to have two monks at once. Unless, let's flash back to the start of the stream, unless Henry VIII is around, in which case he's shutting down the monasteries where the monks are praying for the salvation of mankind. I didn't realise that's what monasteries were for. Like, that was their purpose. Or, like, it was one of their purposes, was, like, they existed to, pr to like, pray for salvation for everyone. And this madman takes the throne and is like, I don't like them. <laughs> Something about them doesn't sit right with me. Who do they think they are? On whose authority are they praying for my salvation? Whereas, personally, I would just leave them. Because you don't... Ha like, there's no evidence it's working. There's no evidence that what they're doing is working. But there's also, like... What's the risk? What's the risk of just letting them do what they're doing? Leave them to it. I don't know if it was just a bit of banter. I don't know enough about it to know whether or not that's true. I suspect it wasn't. I suspect he didn't have much of a sense of humour. Right, Druid's through to the next round. Congratulations to Druid. Now, we have the follow-up. Remember, if you have Shadowheart-related puns that you think will sway the chat, this is the time to start getting them out there. We have Fighter. We have Monk. We have Paladin. And we have Ranger. And the question is, Kalas? Question mark. You have two minutes again. Two minutes again for the sake of fairness and balance. If you're trying to... <laughs> skunk. Oh, Shunk. <laughs> shunk, skunk, whatever, same diff. Now, Oda Nobunaga, I, Oda Nobunaga, rather, I assume, I don't actually know anything about them. I only am chatting about Henry VIII because he was on the audiobook I was listening to. I've been listening to Unruly by David Mitchell, where he talks about the kings and the queens. Um, and I've got to Henry VIII. Sounds like a bad dude. The multi-class puns you have for Druid are Wizard, play on Wizkid, and Droog, pronouncing Drug, which is mixed with Rogue. The comedian, yeah, the comedian, the guy from Peep Show. Not the author. The guy from Peep Show. <laughs> the Ranger vote sweeping in. Ranger Shadowheart, yeah, the comedian, that guy. We should vote on multi-class at level up. Are people, are people out here... <laughs> people out here desperate for a multi-class I think what we'll do what we'll have to do I can't vote on multi-class every level up it's going to be way too much faff I will give people one vote on whether they want Shadowheart to be a pure whatever she ends up being or a multi-class and if she ends up being a multi-class we'll talk about it we'll figure it out Lazel, what you're saying Lazel should be a cleric monk You know what? That's interesting. That's interesting. What would she be a cleric of? Vlakith? I guess we can figure that out. Alright, remind me when we hit that. That's going to be a while off because they leveled up last lesson. Lesson? Session. <laughs> last lesson. <laughs> that is how I view these streams. <laughs> There's a lot you can learn. Um, right. Ranger is through to the final. Yeah, indeed. The professor has arrived. Finally, um, last one. 
You can't choose Shadowheart's deity. That makes sense because that messes up all of her dialogue. Um, and finally, we have Rogue, or Rogiu, as I've just accidentally typed. Rogue, Sorcerer, even though that'd be kind of stepping on Puddle Buster's toes a bit. Warlock, or Wizard. Not Wizard, Wizard. And this is the last one before we go into the final round of voting. The poll is live. The poll is up. Nobunaga joked in a letter to a self-important leader of a Buddhist monastery that if he was such a fancy guy, then Oda was a demon king of the sixth heaven. That, that will have harshed the vibe at the monastery to receive a letter like this. I would not enjoy receiving that letter. Regardless of whether I was a monk or not, even if you got that letter anonymously in the post, that would be pretty scary. Someone claiming to be the demon king of the sixth heaven. Like, I know there's someone out there who would do that. I just hope they never do it to me. Shart as a ranger could help her overcome her fear of wolves. If she summons a wolf, is she going to be scared of it? If she has a wolf companion, is she going to spend her whole life, like, in fear? Because if so, that is quite funny. I appreciate the humour of it. <laughs> it looks like the people are interested. So it looks like it's going to come down to Druid versus Ranger versus Warlock. Druid versus Ranger versus probably Warlock, unless Rogue manages to cinch it. Make her a druid and shapeshift into a wolf. There's a lot of ideas going around here. I mistakenly... Oh, thank you, Acid Milk, for the follow, by the way. Appreciate that. Um, I, I used to... Oh, hold on. We have French Vipers fans subscribed at Tier 1 for nine months. Long time since you caught a stream. Your videos are some of the funniest things I see on YouTube. Keep it up. Nine months subscriber. One absolute icon. Everybody give it up for French Vipers fan. That's ridiculous. That's insane. What was I saying? Wolves. <laughs> Wolves. I mistakenly used to think that I could take a wolf if it came if it came down to it. I used to believe I used to believe like I saw that diagram of like what percentage of people reckon they could beat what sort of animal in single combat. And I, I think I underestimated how big wolves are. I think I thought of wolves as like maybe the size of like slightly bigger than a husky. And I was like, yeah, I could probably, you know, on a good day, I could probably make that work. Um, however, what I discovered is that wolves are actually way bigger than that. And I probably couldn't. I probably couldn't take on a wolf. My phone is flashing. Apparently there's a hype train incoming. We have a limited time. Every All aboard. <laughs> Prince Agor, thank you for subscribing. For six months in advance. That's insanely generous. Thank you, Prince Agor. That's huge. Wow. Oh my goodness. All aboard the hype train. That's absolutely mad. We're, we're going crazy. Choo-choo with the train. All aboard. Um, <laughs> there's been a murder. Everybody get out of your cabins. Everybody, we need to meet on the dining car immediately. There's been a murder. Get out. Everybody out. Come on. Down you go. Now, I know we all had reasons to hate the guy. But there's no reason for the people aboard this hype train to get away with this. This was a criminal act. It was calculated. And one of you is responsible. Tattletale with the gifted sub. With the gifted sub. This is ridiculous. This is mad. You should be voting right now. Democracy has failed. <laughs> we should be... We should be deciding Shadowheart's future. Also, please ignore where I said recalced. <laughs> Thank you very much for the gifted subscription. That's very generous. Um, and for the bits, by the way, Tower Monkey. Don't think I've forgotten about you. But that doesn't mean you're not a suspect, because one of you did it. One of you is responsible for this murder, and I will find it out. Mama, malicious 326 with the subscription. This is mad. This is unbelievable. You're derailing the plot, everybody. You're derailing, and I... I derailing, because it's a hype train. You, are you hearing me right now? Are you clocking what I did there accidentally? 
Sub goal hit. Had I set a sub goal? If so, that's huge. Oh, the sub I did set a sub goal, didn't I? We hit the sub goal. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody, round of applause. Hype train level two. We we did it. We have ascended. And more importantly, Shadow Heart's a druid now. So now Shadow Heart is a druid. Everybody celebrate in the chat. Everyone's favourite. Um all natural, 100 percent um flora and fauna obsessed icon here she is um now we need to level up a druid i've not played with a druid before on boulder's gate i have played a druid in dnd so you, you know it's safe to say that i know what i'm doing we um we definitely want shillelagh because what a name um and we you know what we'll worry about the are these these cantrip decisions are quite important aren't they do we want produce flame? I feel like we can already produce flame. I think producing flame is not an issue for us. Um, poison spray. It's just the the restriction on the range is kind of embarrassing. I like the idea of moving stuff around. I think these default cantrips are fine. Druids need wisdom. Druids need to be wise. I'm getting a notification from Twitch saying we're about to beat our last record. Keep up the support. I don't know if you can all see that or whether that's just for me. But I support all of you. I support you all. Maybe if she's a druid she'll miss less hits. It's true. It's incredibly true. Does she need charisma? Is charisma actually useful for a druid? Like it'll only help her with charisma saving throws. And we could pump that into dex. Does Shillelagh use dex? It uses your spell casting ability, yeah, so we don't need we don't need any of these. Guidance is the best cantrip. Oh, you know what? It is true that guidance is the best cantrip. That is very true. Shadow Heart, no guidance. We could get rid of Thorn Whip. Yeah, there we go. I'm not losing Shillelagh. There's no way. Shalila? Nah, Shillelagh. Shillelagh's how we say it in this house. That is 100% shillelagh. 16 deck and six decks and 16 whiz. Drop the charisma. Drop the... Intelligence has already dropped as low as it can go. Drop the strength. We can't... Oh, if I do this. If I do this, we could up the wisdom even more. Does she need strength? Does she need strength? I don't know if she needs strength. What's she going to use strength for? Con 14. We'd have to drop some strength. Yeah, that looks good. Dex, Wiz, and Con. Yeah, there we go. We can even... Can we pump anything else up? Mm, yes. We can pump up... Mad Mad Kid has gifted one sub to viewers. Thank you very much for that. Appreciate the gifted sub. That's very kind of you. Con 15. Look at this. Shadowheart's about to be useful. Thank you for the bits as well. Tail monkey with the bits. Shalala heart. <laughs> Subs go towards Twilight Eclipse's hair tonic. Not that he'd need it. Doesn't need it at all. Put Con 15 and then take TB at level 4. Tuberculosis at level 4. <laughs> what do you mean? Eagle Troll has gifted one sub to viewers. These subs are flying around. What a day to be here. What a day to be living among these people tavern brawler okay interesting yeah i think i think this is the way this looks good to me confirm is she about to have a cutscene? no she's about to level up we pop the quick saving so her picture doesn't go weird we are of course going to have a vote on which type of druid she is on the circle of whatever she decides to be does she just know entangle do all druids know entangle sweet that works for me We've received a level one hype train emote, everybody. <laughs> We've we did it. It's finally paying off. <laughs> all, the, all the months of work. <laughs> we won't cast Firebolt. Thank you for telling me though. What is this emote? What is this? Like a guy peering out of a who is this man? <laughs> Who is this man? I didn't ask for this. Right, we've got wild shape. We've got different animals we can turn into. We've got 
natural recovery right this is the thing where you need to vote for it so circle of the land is the one that is good for wild shape i guess i think that's the wild shape one circle of the moon is oh no circle of the moon is the wild shaping one and circle of spores is the gross one right circle of spores is the gross one uh let's have a vote for this we will have to have a vote for this it's only fair moon is for wild shape okay fair land moon or spores circle of circle of we have two minutes go 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 everybody go the time for action is now everybody get voting spore heart spore heart circle pit spores sounds like a disease i think that's kind of the idea oh it is a closely fought race anything could happen this could go in any direction at all, except Circle of the Land, which is not happening. Honestly, I don't really know what any of these do. But I'm just... You could just go off vibes. We can be vibes-based. We don't have to always, you know, do things according to, you know, the letter of the law. And honestly, I think not knowing what the options mean is a good way to play. We can make it work. So far, we've made it work. Now, if you'll excuse me... I'm about to open a can of carbonated drink. Here it comes. Listen out to this. Just wanted to let you know I was doing that before I did it. It's not alcohol, by the way. Don't worry. I've already had the tea. The tea's finished. The tea's finished. We're now on the Coke Zero. The Coke Zero has entered, has entered the chat. Was it good? All right, nice. Well, I'll go get another one if we... <laughs> New sub goal. I'll, um, I will open a Coke Zero into the mic. This is currently a tie, by the way. One vote will decide this. So if you haven't voted, you need to vote. Because this is, this is getting very, very close. Tell Monkey, you are talking like someone who has not discovered the new refreshing taste of Coke Zero. Not a sponsor, but I wish they would. Diet Coke is better than Coke Zero. That's that you're living in 2014. You're not living in the world of modern Coke Zero. Circle of the Moon it is by one vote. We have landed in the moon. And now we can use Lunar Mend to expend spell slots to make our world shape better. I forgot to prepare spells, but that's fine. We're leveling up again. I don't I swear vanilla Coke, I don't think they really sell that in the UK currently they used to for a while moonbeam is good right lesser restoration sounds boring ice knife lame um heat metal people were waffling on about last time so we'll get some of that spike growth sounds good cure wounds not interested uh, does anyone have healing word does astarian have healing word your fiance is going to be offended by my hurtful diet coke opinions well your fiance is welcome to raise it with whichever authority they desire. Spike growth is spike spike growth. Spike growth is sweet. Is sweat. Mad 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 kid. We're having a long rest. There are only so many ways I can explain. We're gonna go to sleep after this. It's, everyone's gonna get into their little pajamas. They're gonna sit around the fire. We don't need to rest, but we're gonna do it anyway. Pass without trace. Never gonna use. Bark skin, probably not going to use. Flame blade, I actually quite like. But does that blade use our spellcast modifier or strength? Because if it uses strength, it's pointless. Gust of wind, we want. Um, speaking with animals, what could we possibly learn from animals? Also, I feel like we can already do it. Thunder way. Do we need good berry? Do we need good berry? Probably not. I think we probably don't need good berry. Maybe we do just want someone with healing word. Healing word is quite handy. This looks alright. We're not going to be using most of these anyway. We're not going to be using most of these anyway. It's fine. 
I think Astarian has Healing Word. But it probably doesn't hurt to have two. It's just useful, isn't it? And most of the time she's going to be an animal, so it doesn't really matter. I think this works. This works for now. We'll try it out. Now, people were saying Tavern Brawler is what we need. We can turn into a deep Rothe. Rothe? Roth? Surely Rothe with the accent there. A deep Rothe. Or a dire raven. We gain a cantrip. We want the one that I wanted before, Thorn Whip. I think the spells stay the same. We've already agonized over this. I think they're fine as they are. Except what? Ice Knife? I don't want Ice Knife. I want something good. Like... Spike Growth? I probably want another... Nah. Fairy Fire? Nah. Oh, did it just give us that because we gained an extra option? Fine. One cheeky little ice knife. And we hit the feet. What does Tavern Brawler do? Everyone's crazy about the Tavern Brawler. When you make an un... Oh, does this work with animals? Does this work with animals? Is that why people are saying to take this? Yes. Okay, right. Understood. Um, when you make an unarmed attack, use an improvised weapon or throw something. Your strength modifier. Oh, and we get an extra point in one of these. In Wild Shape, you have high strength. And then what? Do I slap it on the con? So I just slap it on the con because we don't worry about the strength. Is that right? Is that what people are telling me to do? Yes. Okay. Right. Sorted. You, since that's in all caps, I know it's true. Love it. I believe in the combo. Shadowheart is now level four. Puddlebuster is now going to bed. We've used two spell slots. It's definitely it's definitely time for bed. <laughs> Everybody, go to sleep. Better not be cursed. Better not be cursed. Yes. Now, as promised, I'll give you a chance to talk to everybody in case they've got something interesting to say. We'll, not with us, though. Uh, we will... We will... We will enter a conversation. My bad. We'll quick save. Because this can end in a game over. The air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. I hope you're all ready for something amazing. Yeah, Puddlebuster's fine. Puddlebuster has been through worse. Like eating that hag's hair at the end of the last stream. That was probably pretty grim. Press your fingers to your mouth. Your finger traces the arc of your lips. Wetness, sweat, blood and saliva mixed into one viscous liquid. Chukil gake vlaketh mazathok. Can you feel it you. crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly. Your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. Heldrip's asking what is going on. Uh, Heldrip, Lazel is planning to kill everyone in the camp and then herself before we turn into Mind Flayers. That's what's going on. And um, <laughs> if we pick option five, I'm just going to have to reload. Because <laughs> that I'm pretty sure is a game over. <laughs> Are we calling it? <laughs> the run ends today. <laughs> Pack it up, everybody. Go home. <laughs> I mean, oh, maybe Puddle Buster has a chance. It's all down to whoever votes next, I think. 
or it's a hard lock, in which case we just need to figure it out. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Johnson, anything for Basel? First time in the chat, welcome aboard. Welcome to the chat, glad to have you here. Oh, it's changed, it's changed, but someone's voted for something else, so it's still locked. <laughs> All right, you, you, you asked for it. Let it be so. Vlaketh Gorg Shkatzai. I hope you're all proud of yourselves. <laughs> oh, just waiting to die. There we go. She's off. <laughs> Who's going to win? I wonder. Am I meant to be controlling these guys? Wits and blades. Shadow Hearts shadow. chilling. Hungry for the slaughter. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna do this fight. <laughs> I'm not doing this fight. We're gonna load the save. Um there we go. <laughs> yeah, Lazar fights everyone. But um that's not canon. We're gonna get a re-roll on that one. I assumed that was common knowledge. I thought everyone had accepted, you know, done whatever Lazel said. I guess, yeah, maybe not many people have seen that. I just did it because obviously Twilight Eclipse does what he's told. Except, you know, can I, I I'm going to use you people now as a, um, what do they call it? When they put the people in the room and they're like, what do you think of this TV show? Do you think it sucks or do you think it's good? I'm gonna use you for that. There is a good chance. The air is heavy. We've heard this before. Moisture it doesn't matter. Focus group. That's forehead. it. Yeah, focus group. Shoots through your fingers. How would we feel? How would we feel? I'm gonna go with the previous votes. Your finger. How would we feel if Twilight lips? Eclipse? Wetness. Um, sweat, blood, and he broke up with Lazel. Hypothetically. Liquid. Hypothetically. Can you feel it crawling through you? It's not about four who. It's not about four who. Gripping your heart, piercing your belly, your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. I'm not going to comment on what you're saying. I'm we just interested lost. in your reactions. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. Right. A vote for five is a wasted vote. I will not be doing five. Just going to say it right now. A waste for five is a wasted vote. It's like voting for the Green Party. Sorry, it's apologies to the Green Party. You would have loved being in power. It's a protest vote, voting for five. So 8% of you are protesting right now. I appreciate that. I understand that. You feel powerless. You feel like you voted for Puddle Buster to die and yet she's still here. I understand it. Twilight Eclipse doesn't have any nudes. I'm the one with the nudes of Twilight Eclipse. He doesn't have them. I have them. As a, as a narrator, I have access to them. I could release them at any time. It could happen any day. I am one, one bad day away from <laughs> throwing everything away. Hey, we have advantage. Reason. Illithid. <laughs> Astarian. Give us some Vardic inspiration. It's lucky we had advantage there. Your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. Lazelle's fear grips you. Not fear of death, but fear of insignificance. The great warrior Lazelle, a failure to her kind. She will wield no silver sword, ride no red dragon. 
forever unknown to the great Lich Queen Vlacketh. Being unknown to the great Lich Queen Vlacketh's got to be pretty embarrassing, if that's your whole thing. Not even, like, championed or celebrated by Vlacketh, but literally Vlacketh has never heard of you. Just being like, I don't know. Apologies to this woman, I do not know who this woman is. Sorry to this woman, I guess. I do not know her. Yeah, um, <laughs> there's, there's a line in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia that always makes me laugh a lot. And it's in the episode where... They host a beauty pageant in their bar. They host like one of those American, like toddlers in tiaras type beauty pageants. And at one point it's all going wrong. And Danny DeVito's character Frank comes out and he's trying to cover up something bad just happened on stage. I can't remember what. And it starts playing some song. And he sings like one line of it and then just starts yelling, I do not know this. I do not know this one. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> He's trying desperately to hold the show together and they play a song he doesn't know. I will not let the Geich take me. I will earn Vlacketh's honor. I will wait. But know this. I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. She seems like the kind of person we want to keep around. I didn't tell everyone to go to sleep, did I? What's going on? We were going to have a chat. Right, get ready. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. I came just in time. Let's go. You are transforming. There he is, <laughs> the man himself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just call this Larian Studios officially acknowledging Twilight Eclipse as canon. He's in the game. Twilight Eclipse is officially in the game. I don't know what his voice would actually be like. People said he's got a sexy voice. Would he sound like this? I don't think he'd have my voice. But I'm, I'm not going to do an accent. <laughs> I know your voice. I've heard it before. Very true. <laughs> yes. You have. I saved you before. Twilight Eclipse is Scouse, you're saying. And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. I don't think I've ever heard the male Dream Guardian voice before. I don't think... It, yeah. I don't think I have. I don't think I'm aware of this. Who is it? Who voices... um? Who voices the male Dream Guardian? Ethan Reed. Everybody give it up for Ethan Reed. The official, the unofficial voice of Twilight Eclipse, Ethan Reed. Yeah, it does look, it does look real and authentic, there's no doubt. No doubt there. Are we are we I guess I guess that's how we roll. Though the thought crosses your mind, it doesn't hold you. Doesn't devour you, as your thoughts too often can. Your compulsions will doom us all if you do not work to stop them. I can help. Oh yeah, if you're talking about Twilight Eclipse having a voice in the game, that's true. Much time, so listen closely. It's similar to this one. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. 
Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you. But for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. Spamming Larian with Twilight Eclipse fan art is an interesting prospect because there is precisely one piece of Twilight Eclipse fan art, so <laughs> we can send send that one picture. Please do not spam Larian. Fate of <laughs> Please don't. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that. But only if you embrace your potential. to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. Yeah, I think, listen, they will, in time, they'll understand that they need to put him in the game. Wake now. You'll feel better. Just put him in the crash. I promise. Just put him in the crash. Like, just put him in a room in the Githyanki crash. That's all you need to do. Easy. Give him, like, one line of dialogue. I'll do it. I'll record it. You can go, hello. There you go. <laughs> they can clip that. Clip that. Send it in. Oh, off we go. <laughs> it's that time of the day where everybody drifts away. Um, what Twilight Eclipse fan art would I like to see? Honestly... I, I don't know. I, I mean, the one, the one there's one that was on Reddit that I thought was cool because it was a painting of him. Which was, you know, that was exciting. But look, listen, if any of you do make any Twilight Eclipse fan art, pop it. Or even Puddle Buster fan art, who knows? Pop it in the Discord. And uh, it, you will find your audience there. I said I was going to talk to people. Let's go talk to Will. I should speak up. You will not be paid for your art. I had a dream last night. Thrown it out there. A vivid one. And so did you, judging from the way my tadpole is tingling. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. Tempting as these powers sound, we should recognize this dream for what it is. The tadpole's little trick. No good ever came from trusting honey-tongued strangers conjured up by illithid worms. Speaking of, can I stick a brain worm in my head yet? Oh, Twilight Eclipse riding a red dragon with a silver sword would go so hard. <laughs> that, would, that would be insane. That would be crazy. Bands would be contacting you being like, we're working backwards, this is the album cover. We're going to write the music based off of this. I suspect, though, as someone who doesn't know how this works. Dragons are probably quite hard to draw, would be my guess. Because they're very, like, fiddly, aren't they? That's why in, like, How to Train Your Dragon, for Toothless, they, it's just like a worm. It's like a winged worm. I wouldn't advise it. Play with fire, and you get burned. That's always the way of it. They're all right to draw. All right, fair enough. I take it back then. What's that um that game that the it's from the people that did No Man's Sky? Isn't there like some dragon game coming out where you like fly around on a dragon in a procedurally generated world? So like Spyro without intelligent design. Anger. I understand. We've been preyed on by Elithids, suffered insertion of a mind bending worm. Bloodthirst is another matter. But perhaps not too big of one, if it's a devil or demon's flesh you're wanting to tear. I've not watched the trailer. I've just seen people talking about it. I don't really watch game trailers, because, like, I, I generally am of the opinion that if a game is good and it comes out, I tend to find out about it. Like, the hype will just carry it. So, and, and like, there's so many game trailers. I remember... I was working an office job when the first trailer for Anthem dropped. 
and I remember the guy who sat next to me who would often have like Twitch up on his second monitor instead of doing his job. Outrageous. Um, <clears throat> he kept going on about how Anthem was going to be a game changer. And I watched the trailer and I was like, is it? Is it though? Like, I get the... Obviously, I have the gift of force... Uh, not foresight, hindsight here where I'm like, it wasn't a game changer. But at the time, I was like, is it? Is it really going to be a game changer or is it just going to be a game I will. Chat has spoken. Right, we'll quickly go talk to Shadowheart. Wanted the easy path. Just in case she has anything interesting to say. <clears throat> Is that true? The developers didn't even know the trailer was what they were aiming for. Did I did you not realise that. Any strange dreams of late. Vivid ones. And in fairness, I've not actually played Anthem. So I'm speaking from a position of ignorance. I never played it. If you're an Anthem apologist, I mean no disrespect. But I think to say that it changed the game would be untrue. To say that we are now in a post-Anthem world would not quite be that big of a thing, would it? You don't need to figure out what your approach is with Shadowheart. Don't play coy. It happened to you as well, didn't it? It's all over your face. Damn. I was hoping my imagination had gotten the better of me. But this must be something more. This dream companion wanted me to use the tadpole. Use its power. Whoever it was claimed to be an ally, but... I don't know. It seems like we can't escape this mess. In the waking world or otherwise. I didn't actually realise. I've not had these conversations. I didn't realise that everyone has been contacted by Twilight Eclipse. I didn't realise that that was officially what happens here. <laughs> is that one vote for leave or is that leave gang rolling out in full force? What's been one of you guys' favourite games so far? Now there's a question. That's the kind of question I should be asking. That's the kind of chat engagement that we need to be seeing. Flameboy314. Are you a paid actor? Did someone <laughs> send you in here to... Get the chat rolling. I'm seeing people saying Mass Effect. I respect it. Everyone has their own guardian. That's shocking. Leave. Right. I was. I promised goblins. We don't have time to Let's talk to everyone. Wait. No. Hang on. Mage armor. We'll take Shadow Heart with us for this one because Will has been nothing but disappointing. Um. We we can we can talk to Beast. Where's Scratch? <laughs> Scratch, come here. <laughs> Is this all day? Until long rest. That's huge. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I'm not even giving you a vote. We're patting Scratch. It's not up for debate. Pikmin Four. I've never played a Pikmin game. What's the deal? Is it just guiding little seeds around? Do you just tell the seeds where to go? Are you like the boss man of the little seeds? Pikmin owns. All right, fair play. You love Dragon Age. Inquisition, yeah. I actually quite liked Dragon Age Inquisition. I agree that it had too many useless quests. Um, I didn't like it the first time I played it, but then I picked it up another time and I was like, you know what, this is all right. I do find with Dragon Age, and feel free to roast me for this, with Dragon Age, I do tend to just turn the difficulty down and basically just play it as a, like, victory simulator where I, where I just go to places and win. Uh, I'm not, I've never really gone that deep in the combat. Long Strider, very true. Long Strider, which does not use a spell slot. We've learned. So we go one, two. Thank you for the reminder on Long Strider. I appreciate that. And we go one Shadow Heart, you're too far away. You numpty, come here. We go one two. I have I don't know I don't know if I've really played any JRPGs. I've never played Final Fantasy. I've played Pokemon. Does that count? You do that with Baldur's Gate, that's completely fair. I rate that. 
love Inquisition, but it's hack and slash, so easy or hard doesn't make much difference. Well, yeah, that's why I liked it. <laughs> I actually quite like Dragon Age 2. Got a long road ahead. Come at me. I remember really enjoying Dragon Age 2, and then I went online and everyone was saying, Dragon Age 2 is the worst. Dragon Age 2 is the worst Dragon Age ever. This sucks because... And, like, I get that it wasn't the same as Origins, but... I did like it. I thought the characters were good. I thought the setting was cool. I agree that they reused a lot of rooms and stuff like that, but I thought it was a fun game that was like really long as well. Really long. I don't really remember anything about it, but but I liked it. It was good. This is a merchant. Finally. Puddlebuster's checking out a barrel right now. You look like you got something jingling in your pocket. Looking to spend it. I am looking to sell you everything I have. Um, sorry for not giving you a choice on dialogue there. We've we've needed to find a trader for so long. Right, let's sell all of this, and then we'll see if there's anything we want to buy. All of this random trash that we've been picking up. Do I need to change Shadowheart's armor? We'll find out in a second. We'll find out about Shadowheart's armor in a second. Can we vote to poison the goblin alcohol? Or the goblin booze? Here's what I'm going to say to that. Yes. Yes, but... Let's, um, let's talk to them first. That's my. That's where I'm at with this. We'll he hold on to this because we'll sell it. Sell this. Bitter divorce. We don't need anymore because it didn't do anything. These soul coins, we don't need, right? Because Carlac's gone, so we'll just sell them. And honestly, I never use them with Carlac anyway because I forget. Lazel, we don't need any of this. Get rid. 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 Is anyone else carrying anything? Starion, you can keep that stuff. That looks important. Shadow Heart. Straight chilling. All right, we're fine. Do we want to buy anything? Have you got anything good? The Doom Hammer. Books equal free money. Yeah, I think we do have a few books, actually. Interesting. What does that mean? Doom Hammer. Each strike fills the target with a chilling dread. I don't think anyone really uses big hammers, though. We've got a great club. Nah. Great sword. Who asked? A bow. We could get a nice bow. Who could benefit from a nice bow? Lazel, have you got... Lazel's just got a rubbish little bow right now. Astarian's just got a rubbish little bow. We could get a nice bow for someone. Yeah, Volo needs to shut the hell up. <laughs> He's got like... He has got... Absol he has like four lines. He really needs to diversify slightly. The returning pike. The weapon will return to its owner when thrown. Make sure you talk to Crusher too. I don't know who that is. Is that the guy who wants you to kick, uh, kiss his feet? If so, absolutely we'll talk. I want this bow. And I think I want it for... Astarian's always got stuff to do, but Lazel sometimes might need a bow. Lazel, you can have a bow. There you go. And then we'll sell that. Sort it. What do these boots do? Jump distance is increased. Don't need it. We can already jump really far. Lazel doesn't have any gloves. And this would give proficiency. Interesting. Uh, boots of aid and comfort is nice. But we don't really have a healer. Dies. Here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here is the thing. People are saying returning pike is good for Shadowheart. I'll take your word for it. Can't to get attached. I will take your word for it that Returning Pike is good for Shadowheart. It's not expensive anyway. Black and Azure die when we get to it. Is that here? Yeah, do Spears work with Tavern Brawler? Is that a thing? We don't have unlimited funds. I feel like the Gloves of Archery are just good. I feel like Lazel can have them as a gift. A little gift from me.
It's a little gift from me. Uh, later, I can have those. Just give me one moment. I will be right back. Just give me two seconds. I'm back. I had to deal with a pressing issue of national importance. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed Volo's singing. Right. Keep people... moving. I've got other customers. People wanted to talk to Crusher, but I need Volo to be quiet right now. So I'm going to go and make sure that happens. With fragulous crown and with scepter a braid, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. <laughs> The inn burnt to ash. The captives were many. I don't know if we should talk about his vulgarity. That's reduced them to cowering filfenny. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had led you collide. What is he waffling about? Like he could definitely do better than that. I, I appreciate it's maybe been a few hours, but. Weak. Weak. Worst part of the goblin camp is Volo. Waffling on. He's a wizard, not a bard. That's fair. If, if true. Fair if true. That seems pretty decisive to me. Why, I never... You, move off! Do as she says. Now. <clears throat> now, where was I, huh? Wait a tick, that a friend of yours. Oh, certainly not. What are you doing? I'm busy here. I feel like we didn't talk you to Volo in the grove. Lying. To you? Never. Come, let's continue our ballad. <clears throat> draw Ragslin, draw Ragslin. Um, uh, um, uh, I am. Draw Ragslin, um, um, come choose, uh, uh, draw Ragslin, uh, um. Bah! You broke him! Wait, wait, uh, draw Ragslin, we pray, we... Uh... Come on, pigeon, back to your cage. People were saying we need to rescue this man. I, I have one thing to ask you. Why? Of course, but... Why do we need to rescue this man? Idiot! Right, yes. What advantage do we gain from freeing this loser? This hack? Do we really have to? It's a fair question. Welcome to the chat, Jay Pathel, by the way. Nice to have you here. Have to, exactly. Do we have to? It's a question. Get the eye. His service eye. I don't know what you people are talking about. I've clearly... I tend to ignore Volo in my playthroughs. I'm not that interested in him. He's too hes too much of a character. We don't need characters around. The eye is insane good. I don't know what you're talking about. Whatever you people are waffling about doesn't concern me. Let's go talk to Crusher. Do I pop a quick save? I think so. I know what you lot are like. Get the barred shirt from Volo for Astarian. The eye. What are you people talking about? What does that mean? Blazer of Benevolence for Astarian. Let him try to remove the tadpole. Alright, listen, alright, alright. Interesting. Well, all of those decisions are down to you. Fresh dissolve with me bare hands. Weaker than pixies, humans. Oh, you got him good. And who are you? Another pest? You're just a teensy Hi, gnome. And Welcome to the chat. The Good to see you again. Ah! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Authority. The um, narrator, when I was watching um, Shadow Hearts stream, the narrator popped by to say hi to them, and all the chat just started like spamming AUTHORITY in like all caps. So she's clearly very popular over there. <laughs> Suspiciously, nobody involved in Baldur's Gate has ever stopped by this stream. 
knowingly. Maybe they're lurking. Not one of them. We have had nobody from the team. Now, I don't know what they are so busy doing <laughs> on a Tuesday evening. I don't know where they get off thinking that their presence isn't required here. Where I probably wouldn't recognize their names and somebody would have to let me know. But, oh, they think they're better than us, chat. <laughs> they think they're out here living on, living their bourgeois lifestyle. Six, only 6% six leave, by the way. Very sad. Well, not us. Things are changing. We got the absolute on our side now. You better learn your place. Go on. Kiss more foot. You're saying that well, Starion that has his own stream. Right off your face. End him or leave him. But don't you dare grovel to this slug. I think a lot of them have their own stream, don't they? I think the actor for Will has at the very least been uploading things to YouTube. It seems I mean it seems like a seems like an easy win, right? I know that um Lazel's uh voice actor definitely has a series on YouTube and I think it it is also streamed on Twitch. <laughs> Some people are very keen to kiss this goblin's foot. Honda how it tastes to bite his toe clean off, interesting. Looks like we're going for the intimidation. Puddlebuster pulling out all the shots. Everyone but Gale has tried the game on stream. What makes Gale so special? Get him in here. <laughs> Let's send out the invite. Dear Gale. We won't use his, we won't use his real name. Dear Gale. Um, do we want Tides of Chaos on this? It looks like a pretty much guaranteed W, but I don't see why not. Come on. <laughs> Before anyone says inspiration, we don't use inspiration here. We roll with the punches. This inspiration is never getting used. It's just there to, you know, it's just there to flex. <laughs> you on your teeth, knocked in. You ain't got nothing on me. So kiss my foot. Recommending books, is he? Well, I guess that's fair. That's valid. It's nice that the person playing a wizard can recommend some books. I will not be recommending any books. I've, I talked about a book today, an audio book. That's pretty... Um... Oh, speaking of speaking of recommendations, right. I was said I'd tell you my strategy for how to win on the traitors. Um, once we deal with this goblin, I will reveal all on how I think I would maximise my chances of winning on the traitors. I've given it some thought. I've weighed up the pros and cons, and I'm going to recommend the strategy to follow on the traitors. That's more like it. What's the play? How would we deal with this foot? What would you do if you were in this situation? Kiss his foot and try to slide the ring off his toe. Interesting. Didn't realise there was a secret little treat down here. A little present for those brave enough to... <laughs> for those brave enough to kiss the foot. Difficulty 10. Easy peasy. We don't need bardic inspiration. We'll be fine. There you go. <laughs> we roll the 20s when it counts. As your lips touch filthy flesh, you catch a whiff of lavender. The pleasant scent gives way to the muddy taste of something you try not to identify. You carefully slide the ring off. Did you hear you that noise? That disgusting worm. Just remember, you're nothing here. Impressive. Though I'm not sure I want to know why you're so skilled at that. No. I want to hear every sordid detail. Yeah, that little slurping noise was not, not the vibe, not uh, what I was looking for. What was I saying? They just had to talk to me. What kind of question is that? Why do you like feet? You just have to accept it. Right. What does this ring do? Um. 
Movement speed plus three. That's huge. That's huge. What if, if we give that to Lazel, she's going to be unstoppable. Action, not reaction. If we give Lazel the ring of moving really quickly. Or if we give it to Shadowheart, will that work for animals as well? Because Shadowheart's not got any loot yet. Maybe we should give it to Shadowheart. Lazel can already move really far. Send to Shadowheart. There we go. Really good buffs for the worst things. Yeah, it's it's good though. I have such it's nice headache. that there are little surprises chilling around every corner. Swift as my feet can carry me. Swift as my feet can carry me. Let's go and find someone important. Let's head in. I've had enough of these minor goblins. There's a, there is a very good buff in here that I'm aware of. If we talk to a certain, a certain sadist, so much fun. can we save Those the Albert? People want to save the Albert. Is that what I'm seeing? People want to go outside and save the Albert. Reasonable. Should give you a disease. Yeah, we'll go to the BDSM priest. No problem. We will go there. It's a good buff. All right, we'll go to the Albert. I didn't realise you people were so crazy for this owlbear. We can talk to it as well, that's true. <laughs> By accident, we can speak with animals. I'm <laughs> sorry, I woke up today and I accidentally learned how to speak with animals. Right, owlbear cub, talk to me. Tell me what you got. Well now, you look like a toughen, but have you got smarts, skills, guts? If you totally strip off, you get better chance of passing the buff. By the way, is this a is this a con? Are you trying to get me? Are you trying to are you trying to trick me, or is this true? <laughs> it's not a con. You're serious. Interesting. It's legit. All right, I'm gonna trust you. I'm gonna trust you, even though you've got no source. Don't hang about, do ya? Maybe that serves you well out fighting beasties, but this ain't that. This, this is chicken chasing. Well, we can't go any lower than the underwear because of the settings, so that was never a concern. Yeah, are we not already just in robes? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Naira Kyle in with the knowledge you've been betrayed but you know points for effort I guess maybe we'll still do it it's got feathers don't it a beak besides I reckon it owes us seeing as how it just ate our last chicken reckon it owes us a game you want to hear the rules or not I wish I was a goblin just hanging out being just being annoying to each other like their lives are so without meaning they're so devoid of purpose and that they must take solace in that right the fact that everything they do is just frivolous this is like the most exciting part of their life where they're just chasing a little owlbear around an owlbear that could easily kill them and if it did they'd be like yeah that is what it is that's goblin life that's how it goes only the greatest game since eggs sprouted legs mate you just got to chase the chicken round the course and through the posts. But that ain't all. Got to do it quick and alone. Any of your mates step in, you lose. Time runs out, you lose. Sound easy? It ain't. Better contenders than you have been bested by the bird. I will not be bested by the bird. I'm a firm believer that I will not be bested by the bird. Yeah, I mean, I, I, playable goblins when? Give me a playable goblin. I appreciate it would have implications. But at the same time, just let me be a little, you know, a little geezer. And if the implication is that people are just horrible to you all the time, so be it. 
Let me live that life. Fun? Show a bit of respect, mate. This is serious business. Besides, we got to agree stakes before we begin, don't we? I, I leave this in your hands, chat. I assume if I go turn-based, we can't lose. Nothing bad ever happens to Puddle Buster. Cocky, eh? Maybe you've got the skill to back it up. Or maybe I'm about to make a heap of coin. Let's get a crowd going and find out, eh? Right, when does it begin? When does the game start? When does the game begin? Has it begun? Let's talk to it. Hurt me. Run. Where? Right, listen up. Listen up, little owlbear. This this will end in tragedy. You people have chosen chaos and, like, disaster. Amanda <laughs> today, thank you for the follow. You've entered just as people, the same people that told me to go and rescue the owlbear are now recklessly endangering its life. When we needed the leave gang most, this is what they do. Surely, surely this one little owlbear can't handle all these goblins. Alright. I guess we have to pass the persuasion check. 15, no buffs, except for plus 5 charisma. Easy. Easy. Sorry to the owlbear enjoyers. Bite! Eat! Bite! Um, I'm not gonna help, by the way. We're just gonna see how this ha how this goes. Nice. It might be fine. It could win. You will have to- people are telling me I will have to do certain things. I disagree. Looks to me like the goblins are just doing this for us. This looks like none of my business. What happens to my wager, though? Alright, rest in... Good night. What is... Hello? <laughs> who's, who's this? Yeah, we can't get involved in this. We can't get involved in this. Yeah, I can't believe the Leave Gang didn't sweep that one. Oh, it's frightened. That's kind of sad. This is actually very sad. People said reload. I lost my money. Did I lose my money? Can I not go to this goblin and say you gave me a defective owlbear? Man today saying help it. That's the game done. Come here. That was a listen, that's a chat decision. I had no I didn't do anything. That was the chat. <laughs> People begging for the reload. I don't think I don't Surely we can't. Surely we can't reload that. The wedding is off. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, she's probably not going to like that. Maybe, I hope she's not watching right now. Hopefully not. Why? You're not meant to chase it to death. Now you owe me. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. <laughs> Someone's going to snitch if she shows up. Very true. Hopefully she doesn't. Hopefully this one we can... You know, we can move past it. And I'm sorry to the people that are mourning the owlbear. I do appreciate. I feel your pain. But if we reload this, that undermines democracy. It undermines everything we fought for. We cannot just... We can't just go back on decisions that we don't like. I left that decision in the hands of the chat. And the chat have decided to do something terrible. You can read into that what you will. It's, it's, a, it's a commentary on society. Is this goblin actually going to be a chicken for us? Looks like it might be. Maybe this is the best possible ending. 
bloody mad you are. Go on then. You're just ruining the game anyway. Do I get my money back? Did I get my money back? No? Where's my money? That got that goblin's taken my money. Right, well <sighs> Deserved. Maybe. Right, we need to go talk to people. We need to I I had already led us through the door. It was you people who decided that we needed to come back outside and deal with the owlbear. We're gonna get the gold later, don't worry about it. <laughs> I do agree that that was more evil than Gale's hand. Oi! Ain't no party in here! We're doing the absolute swerve! Does Puddle Buster look like she's dressed for a party? Glows, power Actually, yeah, kind of, in you. fairness. A little Authority. bit. Authority. Authority. I mean, Puddle Buster might look like she's dressed for a rave, but then you notice the decidedly evil-looking staff. If um, if any of you, you have seen Fall of the House of Usher, I don't know, it's, it's Mask of the Red Death vibes. <laughs> Turning up to the party with one of these. Or, no, Talk to Me. If anyone's seen Talk to Me, someone rocks up to your house party with the, the bloody skull staff. Goes, all right, everybody, gather around. I've got something for us to do. Who wants to go with the hag staff? Yeah, the House of the Usher show was very good, I thought. Fall of the House of Usher. I like... I'm a fan of Mike Flanagan's work. I think my favourite of his is Midnight Mass. Personally. I don't care for the monologues that much, but I think the show overall is enough. But I think Fall of the House of Usher was very good as well. My fiance is not a fan of um, Midnight Mass, so it's not a. We're not a united front. We're not a united front on that one. I also really liked Hill House. The Bly Manor was it Bly Manor? Bly Manor was less good, but I think it had some very good actors in it. I thought, what's his name now? Um, is it Rahul? His name, his first name, Rahul something. Can't remember. Um, but he's very good in Bly Manor, I thought. And yeah, Hamish Linklater was good in Midnight Mass. Very, very good. A shadow yeah, the handsome guy. Across your vision. Rahul Kohli, and that's the guy. A familiar voice tells you to be calm. You are loved. Oh, beg the pardon. You must be here to join the other true souls. Uh, please, go right ahead. There's a well-done cartoon about four Edgar Allan Poe stories. Where is that? Where is that? What is it? How do we find it? Edgar Allan Poe's an interesting one, because I, I don't know if this is just me, but I feel like he's not very widely studied in the UK. Like, I have never... I have never... Never in my, like, school career did I read The Raven, for example. Or look at, like... I think I heard of Mask of the Red Death, but we never studied it. Whereas from what I gather from like pop culture, it seems like in America, with him being American, he pops up quite a bit. Well, because that's what you are, isn't it? One of them as he is our thoughts, and the voice of the absolute. Like Priestess Gut and Boss Ragslin. Gods, we even got a drow now. Mr. Jones in. Thank you for following. <laughs> While that goblin's having the a bit of a moment. Is Good timing. All together for something big, I reckon. No, Edgar Allan Poe absolutely sounds like a weird dude, but um. Saluna, as if Shadowheart, I was talking. Wasn't bad <laughs> Excuse me. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. How does Poe? Was that translated Poe? Was that Edgar Allan Poe translated, or is that secretly a diss where they're like? This guy's writing is so basic that you can read it even if it's not your first language. Popular in France. I wonder, do the French just have a... Do the French just enjoy weird little guys more than people in the UK do? There's, there's no shortage of weird little guys in the world of English literature. 
but I do imagine that the French are particularly partial to a creepy little fella. Aren't they harboring Polanski? Doesn't Polanski live in France? Speaking of creepy little fellas. Aren't they currently hosting one? Saluna's a bad omen. Just look what's befallen her temple. Though, I'll grant it must have been impressive once, in all its profane glory. I wonder what happened. No matter. I'll breathe easier once we're clear of this place. Shadowheart just subtly roasting her enemies. Celebrating the downfall of people she never met. What a queen. Iconic. Walking into a ruined castle being like, huh, this place must have been nice before everybody who built it died. <laughs> Embarrassing. Be an interesting way to like go to someone like Hampton Court. Just like walking around like, yeah, the Tudors did a great job on this place. Shit, but where are they now? Where are the Tudors now? I don't see any Tudors. All I see is like plastic swords. Plastic swords on sale and like a jigsaw puzzle with a train on it. That's all I see. There was one French writer that loved Poe endlessly and then his other unrelated French dude named Charles something, that sounds about right, who translated his works into French. Oh, okay, there we go. It's all adding up now. We don't have time for this. Besides, I already explained myself. Look, I'm glad we've I'm glad we've stumbled across a Poe more than fan it seems, a Poe expert. An Edgar Allan professor, Edgar Allan is there anything that rhymes with Poe that implies knowledge? Edgar Allan bro? <laughs> I don't know. Poe head? Yeah, true. <laughs> Edgar Allan ho? Mm. Edgar Allan pro? That's the one. Starion has got it. Edgar Allan pro. That's huge. What a development for the community there. Poe fessor? I love them all. Great work, everybody. Now let's intimidate Shadowheart. <laughs> Using guidance from Shadowheart. <laughs> Easy. Easiest roll of my life. But yeah, of the of the Poe I have encountered. <clears throat> of the Poe that I have encountered. I do like it. You're not going to let this go, are you? You might wish you had. I worship Shah, the mistress of the night. It is my holy mission to oppose Saluna, her teachings and her followers. Now that you have the truth, please don't make a big fuss about it. Shadowheart, we just met. The goddess of secrets. <laughs> In five minutes. How telling. A Poe pop-up book. Does the raven, does it have like a pop-up bust of palace that the raven's sitting on? Quoting nevermore relentlessly. We should all have more busts around our chamber doors. I don't have a single bust above a single chamber door in my house. It's embarrassing. If I'm ever, like, moping about, what's the raven going to sit on? The floor? Terrible. Yeah, Shadowheart's voice is good. The, the voice actor kind of just sounds like that, though. It's not, it's not that different to her voice. It's kind of just her vibe. Pop-up guillotine. Lovely. Is it a functional pop-up guillotine? Secrecy is everything for Shah's children. It is our code, our creed, our shield. I even keep secrets from myself. I had my memories suppressed, so that nothing I know could be used against the Dark Lady. Once I prove myself, my memories will be restored. I'm not sorry I kept this from you. Not one bit. Again, Shadowheart, Though, we've just met. perhaps that might change. If you can show an open mind. She's really barren at all. We met, like, <laughs> we've basically told her to go away every time we've met her. But now we meet her at a bridge and all of a sudden she's like, listen, I've slept at your camp once. And uh, I feel like I'm ready to tell you my darkest secrets. Also, I'm a druid. She's not mentioned that yet, but we know. If you read between the lines, Shah worship is cringe. Now that... That is a strong statement. You're going to need to back that up with some evidence. In this essay, I will expose that all Shah worship is cringe. 
Pass without trace is something I will always forget to use, therefore. It is it also does seem odd that Shadowheart has all these like stealth skills. It's like I'm never using stealth with Shadowheart. I'm using spirit guardians. All we can do is try, I suppose. <laughs> right, let's go. Enough of that. We need to talk to someone new. She's trickery domain. That's what I mean. The, the sneaky one. Shah being cringe is self-evident. You might not win over the Shah worshippers with that one. I don't think that argument's going to hold up. I... Now. Here's what I think. I think I would like it if this stream... We make a decision... Regarding what's going to happen with the Grove. And I think the best way for us to do that is to go and talk to Minthara. Because either... Well, I mean, you'll see what I mean when we get there. I guess we can talk to Priestess Gut first. And then nip on over to... She's somewhere around here, isn't she? We nip on over to Minthara. And that sounds like a great place to wrap up once we've had a word. We haven't had a single combat this stream, have we? Not a single fight. Yeah, Poe would like Shah 100%. Now, here's somebody special. The Absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. I mean this incredibly respectfully, by the way. It's going to sound... This is going to sound really disrespectful. But I need you all to hear what I'm about to say with an open mind. I think that Olivia Coleman would do a great job voicing Priestess Gut. I do not mean this as a diss. I mean this as... I feel like Priestess Gut would be played very well by Olivia Coleman. I also watched The Favourite very recently, on Sunday, for the first time. I hadn't seen it before. I thought it was good. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I also watched Mean Girls recently, which I hadn't seen before. Not the new musical one, the um, the original one. I thought that was very good as well. I've been really sucking in the culture. Did I see Fleabag? Yes, I did. And Olivia Colman is very good in it. Is she bad in anything? She's good in um, Puss in Boots 2 as well. Puss in Boots 2, by the way, if you've not seen it. Better than it sounds. Let's the faithful recognise one another quick sharp. That way nobody will mess with you. And it's charged with magic. Ordinary slobs can't see it. Only us that follow the absolute. You ready? Brace yourself. This will sting. Wasn't um, the actor who plays Johnson in Wonka as well? Johnson from Peep Show. I feel like I saw him in the... Um, I haven't seen Wonka, but I did see the trailer. Is part two the one with the wolf? Yes. Part, yeah, Puss in Boots 2 is the one with the wolf. I've not seen Puss in Boots 1, but I have seen Puss in Boots 2 and I enjoyed it. It's fun. Did the fiancé compel me to watch Mean Girls? No, 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 I wanted to watch it. I, um, I was made curious by the new musical film coming out. And I was like, it's crazy that I've not seen Mean Girls. I think she had suggested it in the past and I'd shot it down um, because I'm a bigot. Uh, but then I <laughs> then I, um, no, I came around and it was very good. I liked it a lot. Hold oh yeah, Puss in Boots 2 is a very, like, it's a very... I've not even been reading. Are we getting branded? Love that for us. <laughs> As pain muddles your thoughts, your minds become entangled. A familiar sensation. She, too, carries a parasite. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man. Again, handsome. One of the chosen. A handsome young man. dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Puddlebuster doesn't need to remove her gloves. She's a sorcerer. She can do what she wants. If she wants to get branded with gloves on, she can do it. 
Your son's a game artist. Maybe one day games on hard mode will stream his games. Who knows? Maybe. Uh, it could, uh, let's not rule anything out. I don't know anything about art. I'd probably be one of the worst people to do that. But, um, uh, could happen. Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania, secure, hidden. I feel you in there, digging around. Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls got to look out for one another. <laughs> I do know about art. I watch The Trust. It's very true. I've got to say, no, sp I won't spoil The Trust on Netflix, but I will say, it, the finale was kind of boring. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't really land. That it. It didn't really nail the landing. Unlike The Traitors UK, which absolutely nailed the landing and was perfect throughout. Yeah, I, I think. The thing is, the Traitors is just better than the Trust. We all know it. We all knew it. And the Traitors UK, we waited until it was all out. We didn't watch any of it while it was airing. We waited until it had all come out and we binged it this last weekend. It was great. Loved it. The Trust on Netflix being mid was always the case. <laughs> Leave gang. Solid work. Great job. Let's go talk to Minthara. Glad to see your priorities were in order. The right, the traitors. I've still not told you my strategy. Here's how we do it. Here's how. Here's how I would win on the trait. Well, maybe not win, but here's what I think the strategy is. So, for those unfamiliar with the uh, format, in the traitors, a bunch of people go and live in a house together, and it is decided after they have arrived. A group of them are secretly chosen to be traitors. And the traitors want to, one by one, wipe out the faithful, so the non-traitors. And the faithful want to figure out who the traitors are and get rid of them. And in the two seasons I've watched, rest in peace to that man, um, in the two seasons I have watched, the strategy to get to the end is for everyone... Well, the strategy to get to the end is to be gullible, right? It is to be someone who trusts everyone way too easily right in season one of the traitors there were two people who were a bit gullible and they got all the way to the final because the traitors didn't see them as a threat so they didn't vote them out and in the traitors season two without giving away too many details there was at least one person who was very gullible and it got her to the final got them got them who knows could be who knows who it was got them to the final uh because the traitors didn't see them as a threat so they didn't kill them so I think that's the line. I think the strategy is not to go in and be like, I'm really smart, I'm a detective, everyone listen to my amazing ideas, I know who the traitor is. It's definitely not that, because you'll get voted out. It's not to be too mysterious, because people won't trust you. What you've got to do is just, everyone who's talking to you, assuming you're a faithful, you've just got to like, be like, oh my god, that's so true. I'm glad you're talking to me, because like, I feel like I can really trust you. Like, I can't trust anyone else around me, but I really think I can trust you. And you just got to say that all the time <laughs> to everyone. Because then the traitors will be like, well, they're not a threat. Leave them in. Leave these people in. Leave that idiot around. We can just kill them off at the end. But secretly, the whole time, inside your head, the gears are turning. And you're like, I know who the traitors are. And then you get to the final and you go, mask. the mask comes off and you go, I know who's a traitor. It's you, you and you. And then you get voted off because everyone's surprised in the sudden change in attitude. But you get to the final at least. That's what I'm saying. That's going to be my strategy. The village to the east. It's abandoned. Looks out I think I think that's just the line. I don't think it would work for me though. I think I'd probably pull a face and then people would be like, oh, he's... he's. Someone would say something stupid and I'd pull a face and that'd be it. <laughs> be over for me. Someone would be like, I really do think that this house is haunted and I would I wouldn't be able to <laughs> not be really smug and annoying so I wouldn't last long but for someone else it would be a good strategy someone more likeable could get away with it right Minthara let's go speaking of likeable yes we got visitors don't know who they are mercenary your 
your scouting party has not returned, and half of the intruders escaped your guards. Sorry, mistress. We mucked up. Until their sanctuary is found, I will take something precious from you every hour that passes. A trinket, a tongue, a limb. Ain't no use without my limbs. The lad'll make the prisoner squeal soon enough. I swear! Silence now, creature. Or I will silence you forever. Oh, I bet her rage scream is good. That sounds very As true. As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. A cold hand caressing your brain. The chamber melts away to reveal a dark, endless nowhere. In it, you see a vision. The drow listens as a pale-eyed young woman whispers in her ear. She didn't get to talk to one the handsome man, the Gortash. Of, one Very of the sad. Chosen. The vision fades away. A true soul? Praise be. Are you here to join my hunt? How much do you reckon Gortash is paying the narrator to mention how handsome he is every time he comes up? Old handsome Gortash, handsoming about. Minthara wouldn't respect Gortash. That's probably fair, actually. That is probably fair. Cremo, <laughs> Cremo Supremo making a plea in the chat to not kill Minthara. Desperate for Minthara's safety. You're romancing Minthara in your evil playthrough and she gives you the creeps. Th those two statements don't really align it does look like people aren't a fan though this is close I'll give it a second this is incredibly close we have a chat divided I mean is Gortash ugly hot is that the is that what he is is he ugly hot he's not hot ugly but is he ugly hot Gortash is ugly hot. Well, there we go. 75% ugly is the other 25% hot. It's looking like Minthara is about to be 100% dead, by the way. If anyone had any doubts. Well, the chat have decided. Minthara, this is the end of the line for you. We will not be seeing more of you. Goodbye. You would dare. Guards, to me! Apologies to the Minthara stands. Did I save? It's alright, we'll just win. Now. We have the option to do non-lethal damage. Is that what people want? The people are desperate for the non-lethal. I think this has to be a poll. This has to be a poll. We have to poll it. Well, I guess the Grove is safe at least then. That's nice for them. Poll. Kill. Kill Minthara. Yes or no. You have one minute. The poll is live. You say you've had no combat today and yet here we are. Yeah, the five tieflings that are still alive will appreciate it. Exactly. I'm going to pop a save. Just in case this goes horribly, horribly wrong. I guess we'll find out. We'll find out what happens. But the people are crying out for non-lethal. But we will start by blinding her. I think that's pretty reasonable. We'll get all up in her business. Lazel, come here with the old faithful blinding spear. Why is that only 50% to hit? She's just that tough. That won't work. Uh, uh, excuse me, was that Twilight Eclipse? <laughs> Sorry. Was that Twilight Eclipse popping in telling us that won't work? Who asked? Is my question. Who made him the boss of what will and won't work? Um, we could push. We could topple. Right, she's sluggardly. So Lazel can run away and do what exactly? Go over here. Stand by this goblin. 
Right, people are saying not kill Minthara. We'll see what happens. Taking position. What's she gonna do? Fail to use whole person on a Starion. Soulbrand Razak. Right. The game tingles your uncanny valley each dialogue frame that passes. Push the goblin into the void. Definitely possible. You still haven't played your playthrough with Minthara. It's just difficult to get her since you used to lose Karlak and Willenhausen. Well, I, I mean, I'll knock her out, but it's very possible that we are just going to have to kill her. Uh, I think this is a rage fight, by the way. This is a rage fight. Um, I need to turn on non-lethal. Not that we're going to kill her in one turn, I don't think. I didn't realise in my first playthrough that Minthara was even recruitable. I just killed her because I was like, that's a villain. <laughs> Look, a villain with villain lines. Deal with that. Attack up to two enemies at once. That's kind of sweet. I don't know if it would work, though. Flourish. Push your target back and then teleport. Increase your armor class by four. That sounds pretty good. Again. Is Twilight Eclipse talking to us again? On whose authority? I didn't give him permission to judge us like this. It's not what I asked for. Right. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Wolf, right? We all agreed wolf. Right, you'd love to see it. Um, let's see if this tavern brawl is really all that. I don't think we want to do a howl, because we're not we're not about that. We could do a bite. A bite sounds pretty good. There we go. Love that. Um, I think that's all from Shadowheart. Uh, all good. Right. Now, we have the real deal. Not quite sure why Puddlebuster's over here in the middle of the action. That's not really where she belongs. We have a cloud of daggers. We have a thunder wave that would hit everyone. Or we can angle it. We can angle it. Watch this. We can... Are those blue things... Are those blue things the items on the table? Or are they the allies? Yeah, something like this. Something like that. Looks like it might work. Let's find out. Love that. Um, Minthara still alive. Puddlebuster still under fire slightly. Um, we could... If we kill the goblin, we'll go invisible, right? But he's got a lot of health. He's got a lot of health. Um... Hmm. I don't know what the line is here. Hmm. Yeah, as you can see, she's not frightened. Very true. We have fixed her. I, I, I think Paddle Buster just chills. She'll be fine. Easy kill or knockout, even. Oh, does it toggle it for everyone? That's nice. The goblins get to live. Who are you? Scrut. I don't recall inviting Scrut. Calling reinforcements. That is annoying. I was hoping we could just wrap this up. Um, let's kill this man. Push this man. Stagger. Push this man. Right. Here's how we do it. Into the unknown. Didn't work. Stab him in the eye. Knocked out. Perfect. Um, we don't want to run onto the bridge because I feel like that is a recipe for getting shoved. I might go here. Get the opportunity attack on this thing. Minthara's going to do nothing. Minthara's going to daze a Starion. And then miss. Classic. A Starion. You have advantage or something? Can't use reactions because dazed. Um, Non-lethal is on. Is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. We go for the... We go for the... 
Not the flourish. Push your target back doesn't do anything. I think we just go for the hit. Very nice. Well done. And then Shadowheart bites her, and that'll do it. There you go. She's knocked out. We're all good. Maybe. And... Surely they can't push a wolf. Surely you can't push a wolf. They're too big. Way too big. Let's get up in that one's business. Puddle Buster. How much health does the orb have? Basically nothing. Do we have anything that pushes? This doesn't push, does it? Vampire Bite. That's true. We can use... We'll worry about that next time. Ray of Sickness? Nah. What about... You know what? What about a good old-fashioned one of these? Just a little bit of damage. We're not in a rush. Get him. That's a miss, obviously. That's a miss, obviously. Don't know what that does. Probably nothing important. We destroy the eye. We destroy the eye. We destroy the eye. Delicious. Lovely. And then we don't have a bonus action because we're dazed. But the wolf can't shove. Apparently wolves can't shove. News to me. But they can bite. And they can just chill. Let's turn someone inside out. A starion. You can go over yes, there. Here. Figure it out. Still on my feet. Puddle Buster. Hit them with one of these. I'm not scared of this goblin boss. This fight's as good as over. A miss. Obviously. Alright. Close enough to a miss. Basically a miss. Ten damage is nothing. A starion. Finish him off. I should turn off non-lethal damage actually. Because who's bothered about that at the moment? Snipe? Maybe not. Wolf? Can't afford to let up. Am I about to pop a pod if I go over there? Maybe we move back and wait. Got to move. Because I don't want every goblin. Time to strike. I don't want every goblin to come over here. I just want like one or two goblins. Here's the plan. Right, watch this. We're gonna lure them over. And we're gonna... Can we not vampire bite right now? No, we can't. Puddle Buster. Puddle Buster can turn off the light. And then chill. They'll never see it coming. This guy has no idea what he's just run into. Lays out. It's time for a push. Try something else. <laughs> Why is he said try something else? Right. We did it. We're the champions. We will resume this next time. I'll pop a quick save. We'll figure out what to do with this whole situation next uh, next week. Same time, same place. Thank you to everyone who um, subscribed. And especially thank you to those with the gifted subscriptions today. I really do appreciate that. That was very kind of you. Um, we, we got that hype train popping off. It was huge. Um, I don't appreciate Twilight Eclipse backseating me so much. I agree with that. Let me just see if there is anybody streaming who we might want to raid. Um, I think it looks like we're alright this time, so we'll just call it there, and I will see you all next week. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate your chat. Sorry about the owlbear. See you later.